This is Skywarn 7 weather with meteorologist Zach Scott. OK, so we've seen temperatures warm up today because of uh, some sunshine and southerly winds returning to Texoma. Look at that, a beautiful late afternoon. Uh, temperatures with the breezy conditions are going to fall through the 60s and 50s if you're heading out for the evening with mostly clear skies. Now, there is a slight chance of an isolated shower in far northwestern portions of Texoma by late evening tonight into the first part of the overnight. But most of the activity is going to stay to the north of us, not expecting anything severe. And for all intents and purposes, everything's going to be pretty light. You can see this first wave of energy coming out of Colorado into New Mexico, and it's going to move east and then sweep back off towards the northeast. But with that energy moving through, can't roll out a few isolated showers again for northwestern areas. A uh, bigger piece of energy, a little bit stronger with this one still back off towards the northwest. That's going to be making the same track and we'll move through as we go Saturday night, Sunday morning. Bring us a chance of rainfall. We'll time that out on microcast for you. Uh, 510 this late afternoon going through the rest of the evening. Look at those winds staying out to the southeast and staying breezy 10 to 20 miles per hour. Again, that'll help keep the temperatures up. It's also bringing in more Gulf moisture across Texoma. So we'll see a little bit more muggier conditions by the time we get into Saturday night. Also keeps those overnight temperatures up. Microcast keeps the rain right behind the timestamp there around 11 o'clock. I do think, again, an isolated shower can't be rolled out for Beckham. Portions of uh, Harmon, Greer, Ouachita County have the best chance. See an isolated shower at best. Most of us stay dry. Here come our better rain chances Saturday night. Stopping it here Saturday afternoon, we'll have a cold front. It's going to move into Texoma. It's going to kind of stall out. Still going to see a lot of sunshine, and we're going to see very warm temperatures. Upper 60s, lower 70s to mid and upper 70s across Texoma. May even squeak in some low 80s off towards the south. Saturday late evening, we could see a few isolated showers. Once we go more into the overnight hours, here into the overnight, there goes the rainfall. Look at that, some embedded strong to severe thunderstorms, not out of the question. Hell, gusty winds, the primary concerns with that. Also going to have very strong winds, 20 to 30 miles per hour during Saturday overnight. Best chances of rain across northern central Texoma. Doesn't do it, but I think some isolated showers will be across portions of north Texas again. Uh, Microcast really shows, though, the best rain chances will be across southwest Oklahoma. That's going to clear out of here. It should be wrapping up in eastern counties around sunrise, 7, 8 o'clock. By 9, especially 10 o'clock, any rainfall should be well off towards the east. We're going to see clearing skies. We're still going to see sunshine on Sunday. But look at these north winds. Not too strong, 10 to 20, but it will be ushering in some cooler air. We're talking highs in the 60s with those north winds on Sunday, Easter Sunday. Looking at the evening rain chances again, best chances off towards the northwest. Look at that, really increasing with those rain chances. 80 to 60% across northern and central Texoma Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Again, some of those could be strong to severe. Storm Prediction Center has much of the heart of Texoma under a level one of five for damaging hail and damaging wind gusts. Temperatures tonight, not as cold as we saw last night, 30s. We're talking 40s tonight, maybe even low 50 off towards the south. 70s tomorrow, can't rule out an 80 off towards the south. Rain chances coming in during the overnight. Uh, we did the fifth season show on Wednesday. We're at the Vasca Theater tonight from 6 to 7. Twister will start at 7. Come join us if you can't make it tonight. Be at the Museum of the Great Plains from 10 to 2 tomorrow. Looking at your Skyward 7-day forecast, after the rain clears out Sunday morning, we'll have another isolated chance on Tuesday. Maybe some more widespread scattered showers, some of those strong to severe on Wednesday. All right. Thanks a lot, Zach.